Welcome back to the God, deck. Damn, this is Chloe's home now. Forever. Yeah. It's amazing what we take for granted. Yeah, interesting. Uh, welcome back to Life is Strange, by the way. So we are looking at the alternative presents. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HD TV. And they use her shitty tube television. Actually, she has two TVs, right? Her computer screen is also... Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Basic supplies seem super, super, super expensive. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Oh, I can ask about that? William? Hello, I can Paris trip? So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there. But that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Yeah, well... Hmm. So they did, they did the coupons? Oh yeah, they have to save money, right? Choices of food coupon, boss. Yeah, well, apparently it is possible in other countries to just stack coupons. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Oh. Hmm. They have the same fridge. So that didn't change. Can we, can we venture? No, we can. Oh, I can fly us. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. So they are saying, selling their stuff? They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Happy credit card. I do so reason certain credit because we get from you that your health insurance no longer covers close physical rehab. Can we instead the standard rate of per week? Wow. Per week is uh, kind of, uh, let's say, expensive. Oh, wait. What? Now, this was your room, right? So uh, now I want to venture into it. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Of course, because it's not her door. It's an empty room. Yes, it's an empty room. But everything is still there. Kind of. Oh, even the mattress is around. Kind of. E wait, even the... the the cable thing is there? Spool. It's apparently called spool letter. I never heard much about William's brother. Sorry for not staying in touch since the ending. I woke up in peeing up and I'm sent to Salt Lake City to was in your park and not have to work here. Maybe I send an expert for a visit. Kiss slow and for me. Huh. Boxes? I think it's shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Yeah, but she can't. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Yeah, then do it. I'm curious. Oh, wait, what? They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. So there was a reason to hope. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Um, thank you for get keeping me up on close condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I cannot help you with alone this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug at my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Hmm. Well. Well, well, well. Poster? Of what? A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Can I, I can just hide in that? At least we never had to hide from step douche. Yeah, that's... Oh. I guess we stopped growing up together. Huh. Can just sit and contemplate life? Let's do that. I like contemplating life. I'm still that's overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Yeah, if only we could get I go back could in. give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Hmm. 
the decision we can offer is like super hard. On the other hand, we cannot we cannot alter the way on the way on the way down there, right? I mean, there's no way we can influence other things. Wait, this is a bathroom. Bathroom. Oh, I need to activate the light, otherwise I will not see anything. Uh, okay, this looks even more poor. Oh, I can look at myself. How's it going, time tripper? Funny. I think I look older. No, maybe a bit more experienced, a bit more worried. worried. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just That's more medicine. Nice. Well, I, I have to search both cabins separately. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Mm hmm. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Natural medicine, uh huh. Nothing here. Yeah, except some. Okay. Yeah, I'm not done yet. I have to. Oh, picture of what? Arcadia Bay. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? Yeah, most likely. Okay, oh, I can actually. Hmm. Oh, Joyce is actually. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. She she says nothing about just invading her privacy somewhat. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. How bad is it? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I ever had, and I am proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibilities. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing conditions. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Best, Dr. Ann and Bives. Fibes. God damn it. So, I can... Could give her the golden shot. Oh. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. It's William and Chloe. Huh. San Francisco holidays. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Yeah, I cannot even see half of it, but... William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Super dead? I, I remember that picture. I think he... She, she drew it, uh, she drew it the day we were back on back. Oh, she... Smokes? Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. Yeah, apparently... Joyce is already a super mom. Oh. Okay. So, what has Joyce to say? Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Well, well, well. Hmm. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. It seems impossible, whether a lot of work, echo havoc. What? David Madsen? Why would I ever ask about David Madsen? Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Hmm. Oh, I can ask about everything. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except... Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Well, she doesn't have to experience it anyway, cause, you know, there's imminent danger of Chloe dying. David Madsen, what Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. 
can ask about more stuff. Yay. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. She, what you said the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. That sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Well, and Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Uh, needs help? What? But, but, do you cheat? Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Honey. Oh, well. <clears throat> At least all the other people seem nice in this reality. Huh. 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 Uh -huh. With great power comes great responsibilities. Well, this is. The Spider Man quote is so wrong. Oh, wait, I can actually venture outside. I will totally do that. I mean, I will use every. every. every chance I get to look around. Dead birds? Oh, they're all. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here, too? Of course it's happening here, too. Grave? What? I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Yeah, well, I couldn't rescue the cat. No. I can just look at the law. Oh, man. The swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. Oh, I can. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. Sad, sad, sad. Oh, now I can look from the windows from the. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. Also called Garrett. I right, really have to run around. Uh, uh, I still think, uh, uh, think she, she wants to, to die with Morphin. Mm, can I. Oh. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Okay. Wait, where was it? No, the event went there. Where was it there? Oh my god. Yeah, I yeah, made yeah, that wait. mix for her when we were 12. So, I guess we will just leave this tiny episode of the past. Oh, there's a photo album. Okay. Yeah, I guess we will do exactly like this that we will just go back in time again. And this time we will not hide the keys. But it, it questions how how do we are taking control of ourselves again? 
Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Oh, I can. I have to manually turn the pages? How annoying. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. The sounds bitter. More pages. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. That works so easily? Except, I don't know. Uh, just do it! Chloe, I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Does she have no emergency system that actually makes some alert if something happens to her? I mean, she didn't really just pass it out and it's gone. Yeah. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click. Focus on this photo. I'm sorry, William. Oh no, I have to do this again. Oh, that wasn't good enough. <laughs> Focus on things is not so easy. I guess that's good enough. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. And we are back in past. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. 
shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Don't burn that picture. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That so we just close that door to that reality? More or less? Whereas the morality decision is actually pretty easy. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Well, the thing is, either the dad dies or he takes the reality that already was. It's it's not like we actually we just to undo the change. I mean, for a person I mean, this the old the, the old and now new reality is better. The V1 re reality is for us as Maxine is better because we still have Chloe and Chloe is more or less our love interest. I mean, Chloe is a bit more fucked up, but Chloe with blue hair is. Uh, Blue hair uh, reality Chloe is nicer than uh, wheelchair Chloe reality. Well, you can never change the life of one person's life of another. That's just not possible. That's not the way how reality functions. You cannot put a price tag on life. We are just taking decisions over decisions over decisions over decisions. But anyway, we will take decisions more the next time around when it's time again for Life is Strange. Or not? Can I just leave you? Yes, I can. Okay, goodbye. Ciao.